Hello, my name is Paul Zajicic, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Conditioning. Um, I would like to talk to you today about the flexibility of your hamstrings. Um, I often get questioned how come it's so difficult to stretch the hamstrings and how come the flexibility of the hamstring um, is so hard to keep. Well, there's many answers to that. And a very simple answer, the first one actually, is that we stretch the hamstring maybe a few minutes a day and then the rest of the time we do everything else to make the hamstring tighter. Okay? So right now I'm standing for instance. My hamstrings are pretty short. I sleep, I sit. Most of the things I do make the hamstring short and tight. Um, only those times when I stretch the hamstrings is when they actually are in position to become longer and more relaxed and looser. And that time only takes a few minutes a day for most people, um, unless you're a professional athlete and you spend a lot of time on your hamstring or you do specific techniques on the ham for the hamstring. Okay. So today I'm going to show you one exercise. Um, it's a derivative of downward facing dog. And it's an excellent exercise to lengthen your hamstring simply by being in a position and moving in a position where your hamstrings are naturally lengthened. Okay. Um, Downward facing dog is the basic exercise in yoga. Looks like this. Okay. We end this position first, and then we extend the legs. Okay. Ideally, the head and the arms are in line, the body and the arms are in line, and your heels are on the floor. That means that your feet are flat on the floor. Okay. Now. In order to do anything with a downward facing dog, we must first master it. Uh, you may not want to wait for a long time till you can actually make your arms in line with the body, legs straight, and heels on the floor. So you may want to use props. For instance, yoga blocks. Okay. So once you put your hands on yoga blocks and your hands are a little bit higher from the floor, you may get a better downward facing dog position. Okay. Okay. Another option is to use the push-up bars. Okay. Now once your legs can be straight, your heels on the floor, you can take little steps. Okay, little steps forward, little steps back. Try to keep your legs and your arms straight. I'm taking only a few steps, but you can take 10, 20, 30 steps in one direction, 10, 20, 30 steps coming back. What we're doing here is we're keeping the legs straight and the hamstring in a stretched position and we're moving in that position so the body gets used to having the hamstring lengthened and moving there. Okay? Obviously, um, you can substitute the yoga blocks and do the exercises having your hands on them and once you have a good downward facing dog position you can move on your hands, flat hands. It's a great exercise to loosen up your hamstrings. Uh, if it so happens that you do this exercise in the beginning of your workout and you know that you're going to get a little bit more flexible as you warm up within the next 5-10 minutes, you can start on push-up bars, then you can go on your fist, and then you can go flat on the hands. Okay? So, you start a little bit high and then you bring your hands down. So that's one option. It's a great exercise. I use it in my programs and it works very well. Um, 
Another option is to walk the hands or the feet separately. For instance, I can walk my feet to my hands and back to downward facing door. You can walk, walk your feet as far back as you want you as long as the heels on the floor. Okay. This is a great stretch for the calves right here. Not so much for the hamstring when the feet are that far back. And you can walk your hands to your feet. And of course you can combine the two. Walk the hands away. Then walk the feet to the hands. Walk the feet back. and then walk the hands back to the feet okay. after a while of doing this exercise your hamstrings are going to get used to more range of motion okay. and again you can do all these exercises on the yoga blocks and you can do them on the push up bars so try this exercise see what happens I'm pretty sure it will work very well for you good luck training